thing to be able to come into your home or wherever you're watching this program today and help you get your day started right, knowing and serving the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a particularly interesting story for me in uh, the book of 1 Samuel. It tells the story of a young man by the name of Samuel. And 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26, the Bible says this about him. And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor, both with the Lord and also with men. We're going to be talking a little bit today about how important it is to be walking in the favor of God. It's not a bad thing also to be in favor with men. I'm Pastor Larry McDaniel, Senior Pastor here at the Sanctuary of Savannah. And I'm Kathy Walters Burns. And today on Red Letter TV, we're going to have two women who know what it is like to walk in the favor of God. Huxley Scott and Paula Kennard are going to be here with us today talking about an exciting event that's coming up in Savannah, Georgia on the 20th of September. It's a Friday night and it is going to be an event called Justice for All. Justice for All. I like that, and I like them. They're um, friends of ours here at Red Letter TV. Yes, they are. And, you know, their involvement in this Justice for All event is um, going to be something we're going to talk about today. Um, Huxy, who we have enjoyed around the community singing for so long, she is actually going to be doing something very interesting in this event. We're going to talk to her about how we can get involved. Okay, I can get involved in this. You, you too could get involved. You know, I'm I'm not all here today. I'm I'm still. Um, You're on from, London from time. Jet lag. Yeah, uh, we uh, had the privilege of taking our granddaughter and our daughter to London for a couple of weeks. And uh, we had the privilege of seeing the red letter TV <laughs> sign all over London yeah. at the London Eye at Big Ben. Sound like an exciting, we yeah. live vicariously through you guys. I, I actually went out to see Stonehenge. I had never seen Stonehenge before, even though I'd lived in, in England for a while. But I started to take the red letter sign out there, and I forgot it. I wanted oh, to man. So, so what's so special about a bunch of rocks piled up? Uh, I don't know, and they don't know. They don't know who did it or why they did it, uh, but they know those rocks were placed there about 5,000 years ago. And they tell, they talk about the winter's... Soltis. Okay, I can't even say that word. Yeah, I can't say that word, so I'm not even going to try. Let's, Let's talk about the favor of God just, just a little bit. This, this was an interesting passage that I read about this young man by the name of Samuel who uh, was in favor with God and, and with men. Have you ever heard of something called the X Factor? I'm not talking about the program on television, X Factor, but... Well, that's what comes to mind immediately. Uh, today, when, when they are looking for employees, or especially in the entertainment industry, you know, there are a lot of good-looking people, a lot of talented people, but they're looking for somebody that has that something special that you can't really define, and they call it the X Factor. You and I have the X Factor, but not what they're talking about. We have the Holy Spirit living inside the, the, of us. The favor of God... And every believer, every believer can walk in the favor of God and have that divine X factor that enables you to accomplish the thing that God sent you into this world to do. And I'm so glad today that I can tell our friends who are watching us, if you're a child of God, that you have the favor of God. God's on your side, and you can have great things, and you can accomplish great things. By the way, we went to a great church while we were in London. I heard, and I'll have to tell you, I had to really pray through not to be jealous that you got to go to... Hillsong, the London. Hillsong Church that was started by the Hillsong Group in Australia, but it's in the middle of this huge city that is so ungodly. Uh, it looks to me like most of the people that live there are people who are of another faith, not the Christian faith, but Muslim faith. But right in the middle of this is this big theater that has like six services every Sunday. It seats over 2,000 people. And I heard a man speak there on the favor of God that so challenged my life. And that church is walking in the favor of God mm -hmm. because God is sending young people. In fact, most of the people in the audience, the two times that we went, were young people. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff. You know, we're going to have um, some music from time to time on Red Letter TV by the Hillsong folks. So we'll get to enjoy a little bit of that. But I'm sure it wasn't anything like being there actually oh, in, in service. Wonderful. We're glad you got to go. We're glad you came back. 
We missed you while you Do were we have gone. time to talk about that? We're going to take time to talk about, you know, there's lots of events going on in Savannah, and one really great event is coming up at the Sanctuary of Savannah on the 14th of September. Okay. Your friend, Kim Clout. Kim Clout. Tell us a little bit about Kim. Uh, the name Clout is actually a German name. Uh, his grandfather married a full-blooded Native American who grew up on a uh, reservation in, the, in North Dakota. I think she was a Lakota Indian. And they formed a singing group called the Clout Indian Singing Group. Probably can't say Clout Indian now, but Clout Native American Singing Group. And he grew up in that family. He's a tremendous uh, musician, but he's a wonderful speaker and man of God. So it's going to be an event where he's going to be speaking. It's a steak dinner. Ladies, sorry, it's a men's only event. And if you want to get on that, you can contact us through Red Letter TV site at www.redlettertvshow.com. It gives all the information about how you can get your reservations for that event coming up on Saturday, September the 14th at 6.30 in the evening. Nobody can pass up a good steak dinner. And he'll be with us on Sunday morning, the following day. And he'll tell us all about his ministry to the Native It's meant to be for you ladies to be with us today on Red Letter TV and to talk about an exciting event that's coming up in September, sponsored by The Living Vine. Paula? The Living Vine does such great work in Savannah and really takes care of those precious children that were meant to be on this earth. That's right. That God ordained for them to be here. So tell us about what's coming up. We are thrilled to present to Savannah and the surrounding areas Justice for All, a conversation about abortion, a conversation about poverty, family, and faith. Dr. Alveda King, the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., is going to be here in Savannah. And I loved what you talked about, Pastor, the X Factor. Um, we know that Dr. Martin Luther King had the X Factor. He could uh, influence lives. He was anointed. And we believe that Dr. Alveda King has that anointing on her life for such a time as this. You know, I've, I've never heard her make a speech. Uh, I've seen her on talk programs, news programs, and she's, she captivates you. I mean, she's- Absolutely. But, uh, you know, we just recently celebrated the 50th year of the great speech uh, at the Lincoln Memorial. Hi, Huxley, glad to have you there. Uh, I asked you earlier while they're playing the song, do, you, do any of you remember the first part of Dr. King's speech? You thought you did, but you didn't. You talked about, I have a dream. He always right. asks trick questions. No, it's, it's not a careful. trick question. Uh, he, he had a prepared manuscript. And he was going through that, and nobody remembers what that was. But there was a gospel singer sitting behind him that says, Martin, Tell them about the dream. That was Mahalia Jackson. Yes. <laughs> and this was a, this that was was a speech that he had delivered here in Savannah. First time he ever that. gave that speech was here in Savannah. Yeah. And that thing clicked. And when he started, I have a dream. And that's all that anybody remembers about that speech. Wow. Do you remember Mahalia Jackson? Are you old enough to know who yes, she is? Yes, I remember <laughs> Mahalia Jackson. Good singer. Yeah. Good, good singer. Well, tell us about this event and what all it's going to entail. We know Dr. King is going to be here. And we also have another guest coming. Absolutely. Up. Ryan Bomberger, the creative director of the Radiance Foundation. Ryan and his wife are doing marvelous work. Ryan's testimony is quite powerful. His biological mother was raped. And she chose to give this young man life and place him for adoption. And he is another one that God has called for such a time as this. And he's coming to Savannah to share his message of, of truth and his message of hope for a, a pretty dark time in our society. And we're gathering at the Calvary Baptist Temple on Waters Avenue, and, and we're opening with Pastor Kenny Grant coming to, to welcome us and pray. Um, we have invited Cardinal Timothy Dolan, the Archbishop of New York, and it's our prayer that he will come and that he will pray about the unity in the body of Christ. I heard him speak on that, and I was so inspired. I've invited him to bring that message to Savannah. We also have Pastor Cam Huxford of Savannah Christian Church coming to pray about the sanctity of life. And we've invited Ricky Temple to come. And we want Ricky to pray about the fatherlessness in, in our area. And then Dr. Alan Boston is going to pray for the ministry of the Living Vine. And we believe this is going to be a, a powerful night. And then the icing on the cake, Huxley Scott. Huxley Scott is going to be with us that night. <laughs> So you're going to be leading the choir. Yes. Yes. That's how we can get involved. <laughs> we can sing in the choir. Yes. Is that something you do from time to time, lead choirs? Yeah, I was actually a chorus teacher for about a gazillion years. 
that was my hobby. That was my hobby. I mean, I, I knew Since you about were. Since about '95, actually. I knew actually, you were the greatest soloist I've ever heard in my life. And Hexie came to my rescue one time at Windsor Forest High School and led the chorus there. <laughs> I was actually um, filling in for the music teacher, and I know you find that hard to believe, but I called and, and, um, in a panic and said, Hexie, I need help. She said, I'll be right there, because she knew I couldn't handle that. But you do lead choirs. So yes. what kind of music are we going to do? Because I'm going to be a part of that. We're going to do gospel music all about Jesus. Okay, you said that there was a cap. You're only taking so many people in the choir. We stop at 150. Okay, sign us up. Will do. Your name's on the list. Tell us why this is important for this community. Both of you ladies have you know, been in the Savannah area for a while now. Why does this message um, really resonate with what's going on here in Savannah at this time? We believe that Dr. King and Ryan have a, a particular calling on their lives, and, and that is to speak the message of truth and love about the value of every human being, the value of, of every life, that, that we all believe that we are created in the image of the Almighty God. And with that comes a value on our lives that is priceless. It doesn't matter the circumstances of our conception, the color of our skin, or how much money is in the bank account of our parents, that God has a plan and a purpose for each life. And, and we believe that the, the powers of darkness have kind of taken over. There's a disproportionate number of African-American babies um, taken in abortion. And, and we want to come together. We want to come together to celebrate life. We want to come together to um, talk about God's ways. You know, this problem of fatherlessness in our society, Pastor, that you're so familiar with. That's not God's plan at all. And, and we want some young men of, of courage to stand up and, and to talk about that. Uh, we want to reach out uh, as the body of Christ, unified to the, the widows and orphans of our day, the, the young women and the children who are very susceptible to predators the, that have not a safe place to live. And, and we want to come together and, and celebrate life and see how the body of Christ can reach out as one to provide uh, an answer for, for our day. What is the answer? There's hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> and his people coming together can, can reach out in love and, and provide for these young women and children. Is abortion a problem that is getting worse? Are more and more people turning to abortion or less people turning to abortion? That's a good question. I'm sure Ryan will answer that. He keeps up with all, all the statistics. But it, it has continued to, to cost us millions of lives. And, and, you know, in that, the sadness, I wonder how many doctors God sent us with answers to our modern-day woes. How many Martin Luther King Juniors um, did the Lord create and send us that, that we aborted? How many more fabulously talented musicians? Scientists. Doctors. Doctors, scientists, inventors, absolutely. And we won't know this mm -hmm. on this side. But, but we know, again, that each human life has great value. And, and we need to take a stand. And in love, speak the truth. Probably nothing can be done to change it legally. You think it's gone that far? I mean, we're, we're never going to overturn. You know, I'm not sure about that. But we, we pray that this evening could even spark a revival in our area. And you know, in the great revivals of old, the, the saloons closed down. The brothels closed down. Because why? They don't have any customers. Abortion is a multi-billion dollar industry. You take the money out if they of took the money away, those people that say they want to help women would disappear. They would disappear. You were speaking before we started the program about some of the statistics of African American um, folks who have abortions in like New York and California, yes. and those statistics were staggering to me. One of the things I learned from Ryan Bomberger, he is, he is a great researcher, 60%, um, 60% of African American babies in New York City end, their lives end in abortion. This is a tragedy that cannot be, you know, and our devaluing of life is why we have so many of the social ills that we have today. I believe that murder, child abuse, 
trafficking, all of these issues stem from the issue of devaluing human life. I was tempted to sing along on that song, but Huxley Scott is here, and I was afraid she was going to count that as an audition for the choir for the event coming up on, on Friday, September the 20th at Calvary Baptist, where you're going to be leading a choir of 150 people, and no auditions are required, as I understand it. No auditions it. are required, no. You're going to be singing some songs that are, you know, we've heard all of our lives. The Battle Hymn of the Republic. Tell us about that song. It's one of my favorites, and I just think it sort of sets the tone for justice for all. And I think probably my favorite verse in there is that he has sounded forth the trumpets that will never call retreat. He's sifting out the heart of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift my soul to answer him. Be jubilant my feet. Our God is marching on. That's my favorite verse. So. Amen. Amen. That's going to be included. Okay, that's what I meant. And there's some other songs that are going to be sang that night. Yes, we're going to do Let the Glory of the Lord Rise Among Us. That's what we're going to send people home with. We can sing that one here, Jan. Absolutely. I can sing all of them. I love this song. I, I, Me you know too. What, the amazing part about it is when I am riding in my car or in my shower, I sound exactly like Hexy Scott. It's just amazing. Okay. <laughs> But I, I do plan to be there that night. Red Letter TV is also going to be there. We're going to ha actually That's have right. a, a booth or a table there um, for this event. And Dr. Alveda King is going to join us on Red Letter TV. Um, so we'll be looking for that at the end of September. Oh, we're going to get to interview her? Yes, we are. She, uh -huh. is, she is scheduled as a guest on Red Letter TV. Just honored. She, as, as her um, folks put it, she is honored to be in Savannah for this event and honored to be our guest on Red Letter TV at the end of September. Now, now we need Cardinal Dolan down here. <laughs> We'd like to interview him as well. If, yes, and, and if, if I, I might ask, ask for your prayer support. support. <laughs> we, we are praying in the good Cardinal. Uh, he was quite an inspiration when I heard him talking about evangelicals and Catholics reaching across the aisles, working together. And so we are praying him in to this program. So you've sent him a request. We you, have. You don't have a no yet. We do not have a no, so I am clinging to that as Cardinal Dolan is going to be here on September 20th. I like that kind of yes. attitude. You know, I think it's so important as uh, in these days that we live in where the body of Christ really come together. Absolutely. And, and advance the kingdom of God absolutely. together, not as... In unity, unity that Jesus prayed for. Yes, absolutely. Yes. All right, tell us, anybody else need to do anything? You don't have to pay. This, this is, is a, a free, free event. event. Oh, good. So you come and show up, and then Miss Huxley has asked the choir to wear black and white. Tell black us about that white. color. I'm dressed for it already. It's the, I just, um, I'm into colors, you know that, and I looked up the color for justice. The color for justice is, there's two of them, black and white. Mm. Very interesting. I'm surprised mm -hmm. we aren't wearing purple because, of course, that's your favorite color. That was my first choice, but I figured I needed to stay with the <laughs> stay theme. Stay with the theme. Okay. Yes. So if anybody's going to, is there rehearsals for this? Yes, or there we just are rehearsals. join up in the choir? No, there are rehearsals. We have two rehearsals scheduled at Calvary from uh, on September 10th and September 17th at 7. September 10th, September 17th. At, at 7 o'clock at Calvary Baptist yes. Temple. All of this information, by the way, is going to be on the Red Letter TV um, website. So you can catch that at redlettertvshow.com. It will be in the events category. So go down there, check it out, and join us to sing in the choir under the direction of Lexi Scott for this amazing event, Justice for All, on September the 20th, Friday evening at 6.30. It is a free event. One Thanks more thing. Me. We've got to have a day when we can bring Huxley in here and do some music videos that we can play Ooh. our videos on. Yes. Thank you for joining us for Red Letter TV at home or wherever you are. Hope this has been an inspirational program for you. Remember, there's great events coming up. Go out and make today a great event in your life. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you. Have a good